Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So I'm moving forward with the disc brake conversion. Uh, I got myself a booster and a dual chamber master cylinder kit. Found one on eBay from a company called Gearhead, or it's made by Gearhead. Never heard of Gearhead. Um, but this looks like a pretty quality setup and it was guaranteed to fit a 66 Buick Wildcat, so that's good. And fit, I'd say it fits with an asterisk because yes, it will technically fit, but there's a little bit of customization you have to do. Not a big deal. So uh, the booster comes with these angled brackets, which I think fit some of the midsize cars. The Buick does not have a bracket. This is the original here. Uh, it's just flat. The booster is just flat against the firewall. Um, so they, it comes with an adapter. You take these off, you put the flat adapter on, which is in right now. I'll show you that. And then here's the dual chamber um, master cylinder with the combination valve. Um, they give you the pre-made bent uh, connectors here. This one's kind of nice. It's got bleeders built into it. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. And it looks a little more period correct. I mean, I know it's not exactly period correct, but the the ones with that kind of those, the different sized um, pots is kind of looks a little more 1960s-ish. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it looks good. It's nice and heavy. Uh, this is a disc drum setup, uh, combination valve. Uh, yeah, so there's that. I'll show you what's in the firewall. All right, so here we are. Here's the adapter they give you that you got to use. It's flat instead of being angled. Um, the booster goes through these holes. Uh, and it's unfortunate because the booster, the holes almost fit the firewall holes. Like it's so close, but whatever. Um, so I got this in. I had to drill, if you can see. So that's an original hole that bolts in. That's a new hole I had to drill. And then down here is the other original hole. So I did have to do... Uh, two new holes, not the end of the world. I didn't want to make anything really undoable. Um, and I did weld my bolts into the bracket uh, just because it makes it easier uh, to hold it in place while you're bolting it in from the other side under the driver's seat. Um, word, word of caution is uh, there's a little bit of wiggle room on the bolts. You know, they're they're a little smaller than the holes and once you weld them in place, you obviously lose that wiggle room. So if you're not lined up correctly, it'll get a little tight. And I did have one or two of the bolts out of alignment. And I kind of had to hammer them a little bit one way or the other to get them to line up. So that was a little screw up on my part. I wasn't thinking, but it fits. It goes in. Uh, it's a little tight, but that's kind of good because it holds it in. It's not bolted in yet. It's just kind of resting there. So that's good. And then back to the workbench. The other customization is I have to cut this rod back. Um, and I've already cut it. So it was originally, I don't know, maybe about that long. I cut it down so I could at least get it through the hole. And now um, this is the clevis that goes on that attaches to the brake pedal. The, the top of the, the clevis, the hole, needs to be right about where the end of the rod is which means I had to add threads. So I, I, I tapped it all the way down um, to the bottom. I think it was only went to here before. So I tapped it all the way down. Now I can thread this all the way down. And then I have to cut off, I don't know, somewhere about here. I have to cut it off again. So then I'll have room to go down, go back up, make my adjustments. Um, Again, that wasn't too hard to cut off, but yeah, it fits, it fits a wildcat. Um, and this is a bigger booster too. It's a um, 11 inch booster compared to the nine inch. Uh, it does fit and it does stick out a little further, uh, because obviously you've got the bracket that bumps it out. Uh, so you, and then the master cylinder is a little longer, so it does run into the power steering hose, which isn't too big of a deal because there's a metal connector piece before the rubber and you can just bend it down a little to get it out of the way. But 
yeah, more to come when that's in. Thanks, everyone.